Hey there, my name is Matt Holquist. I'm the CEO of the QuickBooks University. Thanks for joining me for this uh, QuickBooks tutorial on how to correctly record your, your credit card charges. Now, I'm using QuickBooks 2014 for this tutorial, and uh, a lot of people get this wrong, and I see it done incorrectly all the time, so I want to show you how to record your credit card charges correctly in QuickBooks 2014. So let's get started. I'm going to switch to the screen share here so you can see what I'm doing in QuickBooks. Okay, give me a second here as it uh, doesn't want to show me. Okay, here we go. Let's switch over here to the screen share so you should see QuickBooks up on your screen now. All right, so here we have QuickBooks in front of us. And if you're not downloading trans transactions from your directly from your bank account, then this is how you're going to do it. Okay. We want to go up to the banking drop-down menu. And you can either do it here and go down to enter credit card charges. Or you can simply go down here to the icon where it says enter credit card charges. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll see it brings up this box. You want to go through your credit card statement. So the process is going to be you get your credit card statement at the end of the month. You're going to go through it and you're going to record all of the transactions on uh, your credit card statement in this fashion here. Okay. So let's say we purchased something from CU Electric in this sample file. The date was 1215 and it was $20. Okay. You're going to apply this to a particular account. This auto populated with uh, utilities, gas and electric. So we're going to hit save and new. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to pick another one here. Cow gas and electric. And let's say this was $55. And this is also going to be utilities. And we're going to say gas and electric and save and new. Okay. So let's do one more here. Just to get you familiar with this, we'll say Best Buy. This was on 1217. And this was $328. Okay. And it goes to, let's say, computer equipment. And then we save and close. So after you've gone through and you've entered all of your credit card charges, you're going to uh, want to reconcile your credit card account. Okay, and that's the same as reconciling your bank statement. So what you're going to do is go to banking and you're going to go to reconcile. And we're going to reconcile the credit card in the same way we were using the Cal Oil credit card, the same way that you would reconcile your bank statement. So if we just put in, I'm just making up an ending balance here, and we'll say that we had a, let's say a finance charge of $9, and this we'll put to interest expense, and we hit continue. You can see it's very similar to reconciling your bank statement, okay? So you're going to go through this, the, your statement and you're going to check off the various things that have shown up here. Okay. Now we don't balance in this because this is just a sample and I made up an ending balance. But once you balance this with the difference being zero, then you're going to hit reconcile now. Okay. Now, why do you do it this way? Why do I tell you to enter your credit card charges this way? The reason is, is because a credit card is a liability. And if you and, and all of the charges on there are generally expenses when you put them on the charge card. So what I see a lot of people doing is is they'll go throughout the month and let's say that they have four hundred dollars of uh, you know credit card charges and the minimum payment is twenty five dollars. Well, they'll go into QuickBooks and they'll simply go enter a bill. And they'll enter a bill to the credit card company for $25. And, and they will miss out on all the other $375 of charges they had during the month. So, so they're doing two things when they do that. They're understating their expenses and understating their liabilities because the credit card balance is a liability, which is a debt that you owe to somebody else. 
Okay, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to enter a credit card bill the same way you enter other bills in QuickBooks. Make sure that you go, you, you enter credit card charges, and then once you enter them all, you reconcile your credit card just like you would your bank statement. This way you're going to properly state your liabilities, you're going to properly state your expenses, uh, and everything will balance in your books. All right, well thank you for joining me. This has uh, been a QuickBooks tutorial using QuickBooks 2014 on how to properly enter your credit card charges. And uh, when you follow this advice, it, you'll make sure that your books are correct. Thanks for joining me.